In this video, I'm going to go through the Geotech drill holes and strata modeling tutorial that we have under Carl's and Help. If you want to follow along, uh, written instructions can be found there. This tutorial uses, if you go to File Open, it uses the drawing Demo 1. Uh, it's recommended that you run CAD file from start to finish first that will build a lot of the base models that we're going to use in the Geotech module. Um, so I'm in Geotech, but th these routines can also be done in Carlson Takeoff. Starting out, we're going to be entering in some drill hole information and based off of an existing initial surface, we're going to create models for dirt and for a rock strata surface. And then we're going to look at some reports after entering in that information. So I can use site net construction or takeoff to build my existing surface, but right from the geotech module, I can go to strata and say triangulate and contour. And I'm not going to draw any contours. I want to create a 3D model. So I have right triangulation file. I'm going to say browse and I'm going to create a file existing geotech and it's going to write a tin surface model based off of these contours. I'm going to say OK and it says select objects. I'm going to select all these contours and press enter. So you can see I've written a, an existing geotech tin file. I can view what that model looks like if I go to view surface 3d viewer and pick on existing geotech and say open and this is a model that i've created from those existing contours that after entering drill holes um, i'm going to have other strata surfaces based off those this initial surface i'm going to hit exit from here And then I'm going to run under drill holes, define drill holes. From this dialog, I want to enter in any strata that I have on the job should be listed in this dialog. To get started, I'm going to hit add. And I'm going to call the first one dirt. And I'm going to give it a density factor of 125. And I'm going to use the default strata modeling value by the strata elevation and the strata modeling method by inverse distance by the second power. If you go to help, and you'll see you should be brought right into the defined drill hole help menu. You can read about the different modeling methods more in depth and when is the best ver uh, time to use inverse distance versus uh, a linear least squares modeling method. For most jobs that are smaller, I can just leave the defaults here and I'm gonna say okay. And then I'm gonna add a second surface and call this rock with a density factor of 150. And I'm going to say OK. For right now, I'm going to leave the rest of the defaults as is. And I'm going to say OK. So I only have two strata surfaces. And I'm going to go to drill hole, place drill hole. And from there, I can either type in a coordinates if I know the coordinates of the drill hole, or I can pick them on the screen. So I'm going to put in three drill holes in this example. I'm going to start with one here. And I'm brought up. We created that initial surface. So it defaults from that 3D model that we've created, the initial surface. And then I'm going to add drill hole uh, values from there. So for the dirt, I'm going to hit edit. And I can either enter in the thickness of the dirt or its depth. We'll put in a thickness of two. And if I hit tab, you'll see it automatically updates the bottom elevation and depth. I'm going to say next strata. And I'm going to say the thickness here is three. 
So you see that by putting in three, there's two feet of dirt on top of that, so its total depth is five. I actually want to go deeper than this. I want to go something deeper than my deepest cut. So if I have a design surface that's coming into my model, I want it to um, never go outside of this dirt um, and rock surface that I've created. So I'm putting in a depth of 20 because I know my design doesn't cut any deeper than that. And I put in 20 and say return. Okay. And now I'm going to say save. And it now prompts me for the next one. To speed up entering in drill holes, we can go up to drill hole, define drill holes. And I can say, depending on how the information is given to me, just prompt me for the thickness of a strata. And I have that information, I can plug it in here. I can also say default last thickness. So my rock, I want to say, is 20. So I don't have to enter in a thickness for each, each rock. I'm going to say OK. And then back up to drill hole and place drill holes. OK. It says pick drill hole location. I'm going to pick another one down here. Now it prompts me for the dirt thickness and I can say 1.5. Okay, it's already populated these uh, values um, based on some of the defaults I set in, so the rock is already entered in. I don't have to touch that at all, and I can just say save. Okay, I'm gonna place another drill hole to the left here, and the rock thickness I'm gonna say is three. Save and enter. After I've entered in all my drill hole information, I can go to strata calc and make strata surfaces. This will take all the drill hole information I've entered into the program now and the existing surface and create strata surfaces for both the dirt and rock. Because it confirms that I've created those two surfaces. I can now run a command like surface inspector and this will give me the elevations of my models in real time as I drive as I move my cursor around the site. So I can see the existing surface, the dirt, and that elevation is the bottom of dirt or top of rock, and then I see the bottom of rock. So the existing is the the top of dirt and the dirt is the bottom of dirt or top of rock. So I can go over and I can see how, based on my drill holes, how it's modeled um, those underground strata. If there's a particular point I'm interested in, I can just left click and it's going to write those values out to the screen. Another thing I can do now is see a cut color map of where my strata cut is coming into the design. If I'm using civil or construction, I could build a design surface using those programs, but right in Geotech, if I get some entities on there that I have for the design, I can build another model for those. So I'm going to say triangulate and contour. I'm going to write a new file here called design Geotech. And I'm going to say OK to those defaults. It's going to prompt me for the entities I want to create a 3D model from. And I've created my design Geotech 10. I can go up to Strata Calc and say Set Design Surface. And I'm going to pick on that surface we just created, the design Geotech 10 model. The program tells me that's done, so I can now go to Strata Cut and say Draw Strata Cut Color Map. I want to see where my rock is cutting into the design. Now at the bottom, it's prompting me for a color legend, so I can put that to the right here and press Enter. 
And so what this is showing me is where I have rock cut on the job, um, different than the overall existing verse design cut. This is showing me just where there's cut of rock. And we got that by simply putting in drill hole information in the geotech module. To now see the actual volumes of the rock cut that I have on this job, I'm going to go over to the civil module. I could also go into the construction module. And construction would be under takeoff. In civil, I'm going under site net. And there's one other adjustment I'm going to make before we look at quantities. I'm going to say define topsoil depths. And instead of using a depth of a half a foot and stripping a half a foot across the site, I'm going to say remove the dirt as my topsoil from the job. So it's not going to be a half a foot. It's going to be whatever the, the strata surface is uh, based off of my drill holes. So it could be the foot and a half that I put in or the three feet. It's going to use that strata model to take up as, as topsoil. I'm going to say OK here. I'm going to remake that existing surface. And now I'm going to go to Calculate Total Volumes. Update my design surface. No, I don't need to do that. And from our Volumes Option dialog, I'm going to say, you know, show me the rock cut in five foot intervals. So I'm going to get a report of how much rock cut there is, but I want to know between zero and five feet how much rock I have and over five feet how much rock I have because the cost of removing it is going to increase depending on its depth. So I'm going to get that rock broken down by five foot intervals. I'm going to say OK here. So looking at my report, I can see of my total cut now, I get a report of how much of that cut is rock. And scrolling down, I can see that rock cut that I have, all of it is between 0 and 5 feet deep. I don't have any rock on this job that's over 5 feet of cut. If I exit out of this report now, one last command I want to take a look at is the quick profile. If I run quick profile and I pick two points going across the site, you can see my surfaces for my strata are automatically added into my profile. So I can see how it's built down from the existing those stratas and I can view them against the design as well.